What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video, we've got Zor's location and inventory. Something that's pretty freaking awesome. He's got something cool. Let's go check it out. Roll the intro and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so Zor is down here at the back of the tower with the amazing view as he has had before, which is pretty cool. Let's check out what he's got because, well, I've seen something so far on, yup, there it is. Oh my god, this thing right here, moon glow for the hawk moon. Holy Jesus, I want to get that, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's start off with something pretty cool, pretty awesome. The Trespasser, the sidearm that is new to Rise of Iron. This thing is a beast. I honestly love it. 23 strange coins, you can't go wrong. It's got Be the Danger. This weapon fires bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy. I like that. It's pretty freaking cool. We've got Relentless Tracker kills with this weapon grant enhanced motion tracker re resolution for a short amount of time. Pretty cool, not the greatest, but I like it. It's kind of cool if you're not a hunter. Got hand loaded, we got reinforced barrel, quick draw, and unrepentant. Killing or reloading after a kill causes the next burst to be longer and a more powerful super burst. So pretty much you'll fire your three burst, three burst, three burst, reload. When you get that next actual burst, it fires six bullets enough to actually kill a person. It's pretty freaking cool. I like it. It's honestly really OP if you're using it in Crucible. I love it in Supremacy just because it sounds cool, it looks cool, and it's amazing. Now the actual uh, colors, custom skins we've got available are pretty freaking cool. You got Fallen Assassin and stuff like that. And then Crucible Assassin, I want this because, yeah, that thing right there, that looks pretty freaking nice. I like that. Anyway, pick it up if you haven't got it. 350 if you want to infuse it just into something random. 30, 23 strange coins, pretty freaking awesome. Next up, we've got the Sunbreakers for the Warlock. This is a discipline and strength roll of 37 and 39, maxing out at 54 and 56. Now, the main perk on this is called Helium Cycle. Increase the duration of your solar grenade while gaining an additional solar grenade charge. So, you get two soil grenades and they last extra long. Pretty freaking cool if you're pushing a boss off the ledge like in the red and vault glass. Ah, oh, those days. Reminiscent. Anyway, these things are pretty freaking cool. They look pretty snazzy. They've got intellect and... Oh, they got... They've got energy projection, which is increased grenade throw distance. They've got impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits. We've got scout rifle loader and rocket launcher reloader. Pretty freaking cool. I like them. They just, they look pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys pick them up for your warlock if you haven't got them. They are a year one brought back to year three, I guess. Pretty freaking awesome. 13 strange coins. Go ahead and pick them up. Next up, we've got the Bones of Ale. Anyway, these things, Intellect, Discipline, 54, 55, maxing out at 77 and 78. These things just, they're the best for Hunter. Well, pretty much. They're, they're the second best for me now. Not bound by law. Upgrade double jump with an additional jump. Or if you actually got three jumps and you get four jumps, it's pretty freaking cool. These things are definitely OP in a lot of situations. If you haven't got them, they are a must to have for your hunter. Go ahead and pick them up because, well, once you do, you'll realize you freaking love them. They are awesome. You got shotgun ammo, you got machine gun ammo, and you got solar double down. Now what's pretty freaking cool about this is it is a good roll. Now, pretty much being in the middle, I guess, with 77 and 78 for intellect and discipline, I like this. Pretty freaking cool, 13 strange coins, pick it up, again, if you haven't got it. Finally, onto the last boots, we've got MK44 standard sides for the Titan, intellect and strength 47 and 49, maxing out at 70 and 72. 
other than looking like a beast and a walking tank, these things are got the perk to be somewhere else. Increase the duration of shoulder charge and tighter turn radius while sprinting. I'm guessing these are actually going to take a backseat to the Dune Marchers, the new actual exotic Titan boots. Those things are pretty much the same as this, however they actually go through all three classes I guess. Pretty cool if you haven't got them though, these things work with pretty much any shader. I actually love them for the aesthetics mainly. They're pretty cool however for the actual perk. Now secondary perks are shotgun ammo, machine gun ammo and arc double down for those shoulder charges. Pretty freaking cool, pick it up if you haven't got it. 13 strange coins for these amazing boots. Finally, we've got a gauntlet engram, this is a year 1 gauntlet engram, only going to decrypt into a year 1 gauntlet engram, or is this a year 2, I'm not sure, gauntlet engram. Next up we've got an exotic gauntlet engram, go ahead and pick this up if you want to get an exotic piece of armor, well an exotic gauntlet that is, if you haven't got it, Pretty freaking cool, if you've already got it then infusion fuel for certain things or you can just unlock a uh, second variant if it's available. Pretty freaking cool, 19 strange coins, not the worst, not the greatest, pick it up if you want to get a couple more of those exotics or if you just want to level up with the actual cryptarch, it works. Weapon ornaments though, moon glow for the hawk moon and that thing right next to it as you can see, this, storm's reproach. Now this thing, oh my god, I actually really want this on the shotgun, the invective, just because, well, it looks pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, I like it. Next up though, we've got the Curios. We've got Plasma Drive. We've got Void Drive. Both of these are 23 strange coins. They're used to upgrade your rare sparrows into those legendary sparrows, if you like that kind of thing. Next up, we've got three heavy ammo synthesis for one strange coin. We've got five three of coins for seven strange coins. I'm going to go ahead and pick a few of these up because these are used to get more exotics, and I love exotics. Next up, we've got Glass Needle. These are used to re-roll the exotic perks and actually get better rolls on them if possible. We've got three Glass Needles for three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. Finally though, finishing it off with the mode of light, two strange coins for one mode of light. Thank you, Zor. You've been pretty freaking awesome. There is a lot of people here, everyone shopping this cat, Charles of Osiris Hunter, looking pretty flash. Anyway, this has been Zor's inventory and location for the weekend. It is the 14th of the 10th. Pretty freaking cool. 2016. I'm Babylon. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you come down and get some loot from Zor because a lot of the stuff is pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to pick up some more strange coins. Go ahead and farm for some more actual... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more three of coins. Go ahead and farm some more exotics. See what I can get and higher my light level. Anyway, this has been Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off with Zor's inventory and location and a pretty view. Peace out.